Number 10, Taylor Swift. Taylor's tyranny of torment must end now. Taylor Swift has made a name for herself as a person who thrives on the ending of a relationship. Since the late 2000s, Taylor has been making millions in the music industry. Her songs like Love Story and 22 are anthems to many. The catchy tunes tend to come from a place of so-called heartache, however. Taylor has thanked her exes on several occasions for inspiring the songs that made her who she is today. People like Tom Hiddleston, Harry Styles, Jake Jill Hall, all have had a part to play in the inception of some bops. The argument can and should be made that Taylor needs to just like chill already. She's made several songs that were good without the need to berate an ex, and some of those songs that are about exes are revealing. Like, imagine if after every breakup you've ever had, a song just pops up on your phone by U2 called Why They Left You. Number 9, Chris Pratt. Maybe you know him. Star Lord. Chris Pratt has had a massive successfully career since first starring as the lovable Andy Dwyer on the hit mockumentary series Parks and Recreation. Since then, he starred in blockbuster giants like the Jurassic Park trilogy, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he's even the voice of Mario now. This guy is unstoppable. Well, hopefully that's not true. You see, Chris was almost a part of the infamous Me Too movement, but he somehow escaped our radar. In 2013, Chris was involved with an organization called the Hillsong Church. This mega church is known for being notoriously anti-LGBTQ+. The church's former leader, Brian Houston, actually went public with their stupid, idiotic, and just wrong beliefs, but uh, we don't need to get into that. While it was only ever rumored that he was involved with the controversial group, it was confirmed by his ex-wife and fellow actor Anna Ferris. he certainly wasn't against their beliefs. She claimed that Chris didn't deny specifically being involved with the church until 2022 because he didn't want to throw a church under the bus. Um, hey man, uh, they might have done some pretty shady stuff, so why don't you just toss them under that bus as hard as you can? Number eight, Ariana Grande. She's got one less problem without you, and honestly, we'd probably be fine without her too. Ariana rose to fame on the hit Nick series Victorious before spinning off and becoming a pop singing sensation. While she may be a good girl and good impressionist on screen, just ask Jimmy Fallon. Behind the scenes, she's reportedly cold, quiet, and much like Taylor Swift, she just hates on her exes through song. When she broke up with Saturday Night Live alumni Pete Davidson, she released a song called Pete Davidson, blatantly singing about and trashing her ex fiance. The song made her a lot of money, which Pete received nothing of. So, like, hey man, if you're gonna trash someone, at least give them a little bit of the cheddar, you know? On top of this, her behavior in general has just been chaotic. She once left a meet and greet because she didn't like the way that the photo were turning out. Those people paid hundreds of dollars and she was just like, ha, thank you next. In 2015, a video surfaced of Ariana visiting a California donut shop and the owners were beyond excited to see her until she started licking donuts and putting them back on the shelves. According to the shop owners, those donuts were never paid for and they actually had to be thrown away. But like, come on, they really should have like preserved some of those and sold them online because hey, people are weird. This incident alone got her nixed from performing at a White House event despite multiple public apologies. The darkest of stories though comes from a Hollywood insider that has not been confirmed to be 100% true, but it might be. The man in question was working with Ariana at a signing event. She was all smiles until the event was over and they entered the elevator. According to them, her first words as the doors closed were, I hope they all freaking perish. Well, kind of makes you realize why Nick stars aren't as popular when they're adults. Number seven, Russell Crowe. The gladiator star and newest addition to the world of mythology in the MCU playing Zeus, Russell has had a steady career filled with blockbuster paychecks and fans galore. But according to several sources, the Pope's exorcist has quite the temper. In 2005, he made headlines for throwing a cell phone at a Mercer Hotel employee in New York City. Apparently, he found out that it was broken and he threw it without looking, and it exploded on impact. That incident ended up being taken a bit far, but that was not the only example of his escapades. In 2016, he returned to the media circuit, this time facing charges of alleged violence towards rapper Azalea Banks. That dissolved into a he said, she said situation that was settled outside of court. Crow has also made a mess on set in his early days. A producer on the film Gladiator claims that Crow became furious and violent when he discovered just how much the producer's assistant was being paid. The situation forced the 
producer Bronco Lustig to quit the production. While many fans loved Crow in Gladiator, the people on set, yeah, that's a different story entirely. His career is slowly on the decline, so who knows, maybe he'll throw a phone at someone that he shouldn't and finally get cancelled for good. Number 6. Rihanna According to some of her fans, Rihanna's a rude lady. Fans shared their story of a co-worker who experienced firsthand just how cold Rihanna can be. They told insiders that they won free tickets and backstage passes from a radio concert. When it came time for the co-worker and her kids to meet Rihanna, she was sitting at her makeup booth and refused to face them. When the young fans asked if they could get her autograph, she instructed a nearby backup dancer to just forge a signature before shooing them away. Oh, well, you want my signature? Okay. Bye. Go. Get someone else to do it. I'm too busy. In 2016, she further added fuel to the fire when she shared a photo of a young fan wearing a dress inspired by Rihanna's Wile E. Coyote themed costume that she had worn at an awards show a few years prior. She wrote, Dark Thought Rises with the hashtag Prombat. She shared that post with millions of people, alienating countless fans and ruining one fan's prom memories for the rest of their lives. By the way, I looked it up. If someone calls you a thought, Kick them as hard as you can in the worst place that you can find. Fans may have turned on her, but she has yet to be officially cancelled, so I don't know. She really needs to be, so let's get on that. Number 5. Tom Cruise While Tom may be an action movie star and was once a young Hollywood heartthrob, he's got a massive temper since day one. According to both former assistants as well as several co-stars from Tom's past, Cruise is a regular toddler and is known to throw tantrums, being set off by the smallest thing. His former manager, Eileen Berlin, presented Tom with a gift on his 19th birthday. She gave him an album of teen magazine articles written about him and apparently look, that set him off. He told his manager that he considered himself an adult, not a teen idol, and threw the book right in her face. Another example of Tom's aggression was on display during the filming of his recent Top Gun sequel, Maverick. During the time, Tom and the rest of the film crew were tasked to shoot on an actual aircraft carrier, still in use by the US military. One of the crew posted on Twitter calling out the audacity of Tom's behavior. They tweeted, Tom Cruise was really on our ship telling people not to talk or even look at him. After a few choice words, the crewmate made it very clear that Tom was not welcome aboard their vessel. These are just two examples though. Tom has blown up on film crews several times in the past, to the point where his Mission Impossible 2 co-star was constantly scared of Tom on set and what he may freak out about next. This dude's still making movies though, so hey Hollywood, uh, kick him out and cancel him please, it's time. Number 4. Jared Leto Jared Leto is an interesting fella. He started his own religious group, he brings a new meaning to the word method acting, and let's just face it, this guy sucks. Over the past few years, reports from Jared's fellow actors are anything but positive. During his time as the Joker, he left his fellow castmates used adult devices, pig heads, and live snakes in their trailers as so-called gifts. He was trying to stay method as the Joker, but anyone on the receiving end of that gift, well, probably wished that he would just chill out. On top of that, he's been known to stay in character, meaning that if he's playing someone angry or silent, well, that's how he's going to be the entire time. This guy hasn't really been questioned for his actions at any point in recent history, only ever being called a weirdo and just kind of leaving it at that. With his career still well on the rise, here's hoping that Jared will eventually be called out for good and added to Hollywood's do not hire list. Number 3. John Hamm The Batman star doesn't just look like your typical college jock. Turns out he actually was one in the early 90s. John took part in a hazing incident at the University of Texas in 1991 that led to John receiving criminal charges. The lawsuit was filed by a member of the Fraternal Society organization who claims to have been severely injured, dragged by a hammer, and had his pants set on fire. The person also claims that John was involved until quote, the very end. Criminal records show that John was charged for this incident at the time, receiving probation and an official charge of hazing. He participated in all the classic hazing activities, some good, but mostly just downright degrading. While this took place way back when, John's role combined with his supposed cold shoulder default towards his fellow co-stars has landed him on the must cancel list. Number 2. Morgan Freeman The voice of God himself, Morgan Freeman has been a soothing soul for many, many years. To this day, families can hear Morgan narrate the world around them in an immersive 360 IMAX screen at the Science Center in Toronto. He may be a comfort to some, but according to a few women, Morgan is their nightmare. Morgan has been accused of inappropriate behavior on multiple occasions 
between 1991 and 2015. According to one production assistant from the film Going in Style, which is a bank heist movie starring Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin, Morgan subjected her to unwanted touching and comments about her figure and clothing on a near daily basis. Lend me your ear. This move is rarely received well. Get yourself a new move, or better yet, don't have a move. Just walk up and say hi and show her your Beanie Baby collection. Be normal. According to her in one instance, Freeman attempted to lift her skirt and asked to see her underclothes. She was not the only one to speak out, however. A senior member of production staff on the movie Now You See Me 2 told CNN that Freeman harassed her and her female assistant on numerous occasions, making similar comments on figure and clothes. I could go on and on with more and more examples, but just to save some time and boil it down for you, Morgan Freeman is creepy and I'm sorry to say, but this guy needs to retire for good as soon as possible. And at number one, it is, yes, at number one, it's Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle dominated the comedy scene in the 1990s and early 2000s. His stand-up was considered to be the most gut-busting and entertaining around, and his role in films like The Nutty Professor, Robin Hood Men in Tights, and the cult classic Half-Baked, he took a bit of a break from starring in films to focus on his family and his true passion, stand-up comedy. Despite being on stage for over 12 years though, Dave never really learned to follow suit with the times. There were certain topics that just became rude to joke about, and many jokes considered to be funny in the 80s and 90s have not aged well. Unfortunately, that seems to be all the material that Dave has. In one of his most recent Netflix specials, he made jokes aimed at the LGBTQ plus community. Jokes that are not worth quoting or repeating or googling, just none of it. They were rough enough to have Dave's fans turn on him immediately. While he was cancelled by his fans, Netflix actually defended the comedian, claiming he had artistic freedom even after a group of Netflix employees and transgender advocates staged a virtual walkout. The co-CEO Ted Sarandos, who released the statement, later admitted that he handled the situation poorly. Oh, did you, Ted? Did you accidentally defend a man who was making fun of gay people? Oh, gosh darn it. Oopsie doopsies. Number 10, James Gunn. James Gunn is single handedly responsible for the success of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. In the comics, the team were a tight knit crew of basically space pirates that turn good and guard the galaxy from evil. However, they were considered a lower tier team, and when it was announced that Marvel Studios would be producing a live action origin flick, fans were skeptical to say the least. But after seeing Seeing the first trailer for Guardians, we knew the world was in for a treat. James has been making moves on the silver screen for years, directing some of my personal favorites like the live action Scooby Doo movies from the early 2000s and some of his horror movies like Slither and Dawn of the Dead. In summer 2018, it was announced that Disney would be letting James go as the director of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 after a right wing media personality resurfaced a series of tweets from as far back as 2009. Disney tweeted, The offensive attitude and statements discovered on James's Twitter feed are indefensible and inconsistent with our studio values. <laughs> okay, Disney, go watch the original Peter Pan movie and then tell me more about your values. Now, we can't actually discuss the content of these tweets as the material was extremely graphic and honestly just not worth repeating. The tweets were intended to be a joke, which they always are, but it just made James seem like creepy and gross. James publicly apologized for his words with several of his former employees and co-stars Stars, claiming nothing but positivity from Gunn. In fact, the cast of Guardians of the Galaxy signed a collective letter stating they would refuse to be involved without James behind the wheel. While James was cancelled by Marvel though, their arch nemesis DC Comics swooped in to use his creative insanity and put it to good use. You see, he wrote and directed the End Yourself Squad, rewriting DC's history after their failed attempt to adapt the team in 2016. He did such a good job that Disney was forced to rescind their actions and bring James back for the final film in the trilogy. But James, however, stepped down from any future Disney roles and is now basically in charge of every DC movie or TV show coming out in the near future. His sense of humor may be warped, but hey, we can't wait to see what he brings to the table. Number nine, Chrissy Teigen. In May of 2021, an individual by the name of Courtney Stoden, a pageant model and media personality, claimed that fellow model and media star Chrissy Teigen had publicly bullied them on Twitter for years. Chrissy was accused of regularly tweeting that she wished Courtney Courtney would take a permanent dirt nap, or to just straight up end herself. Apparently, Chrissy harbored some kind of jealousy towards Courtney's success and decided to take it online instead of, you know, just like not doing that. Chrissy quickly apologized for the tweets and DMs, which were sent as recently as 2019. She tweeted, I'm sad and mortified at who I used to be. I was an insecure, attention seeking troll, and I'm ashamed and completely embarrassed at my behavior. But that is nothing 
nothing compared to how I made Courtney feel. Chrissy then decided to delete her social medias following a slew of backlash for her actions, eventually leading to her being fired from or leaving any job she had been on both on and off screen. Next time, uh, just keep your jealousy balled up deep inside like the rest of us. Number 8. Iggy Azalea In 2015, Australian pop sensation Iggy Azalea had to cancel her headline appearance at that year's Pittsburgh Pride event in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This was seemingly in response to several of the LGBTQ groups set to be vendors at this event cancelling due to her involvement. Iggy has a history of offensive language that she's been able to avoid before, but this one was the breaking point. She posted several homophobic and anti-LGBTQ tweets, including one which she stated that when guys whisper in each other's ears, I always think it's kind of homo. Hey, joke's on her. We're usually whispering about how trashy she is and, you know, trucks and stuff. I don't know. Man. She made several other tweets that aren't worth sharing or discussing, but needless to say, she made a lot of people very mad. She was asked to step down from the show and later released a public apology at one point, stating that she's a firm believer in equality. Unfortunately, in her past as a young person, she used words that she should not have. Man, she still uses words now like that, so I don't know. Take this one with a big old grain of salt. Number seven, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is the little man with a big heart. He's been making audiences cry with laughter since he graduated high school and began performing stand up in the early 90s. He went from open mics to open ceiling stadiums, once even selling out an entire football stadium for a Netflix special called What Now? His career has been a series of ups with minimal downs, but one massive down came in 2018 when it was announced that Kevin Hart was forced to step down from his position as that year's Oscars host. After a series of old tweets and stand up bits were shared with the Academy. In 2010, he released a special called Seriously Funny, in which he tells a joke about preventing his son from becoming gay. He once tweeted that if he ever found out that his son was gay, that he would break a dollhouse over his head. Okay, that's not funny. He made quite a few comments towards the LGBTQ community that are not worth repeating or Googling. Let's just chalk it up to rough. It's just very rough. He eventually apologized for his views and comments, claiming his behavior was homophobic and just plain rude. Despite his apology, the Academy felt that it was necessary to replace Kevin as the host of their 2019 ceremony. He's still making moves left and right to this day, but the quality of those films has dropped severely. Just check out Ride Along and then immediately watch Man from Toronto. You'll, you'll get it. Number 6. Amanda Bynes She's the man and now she's the band. Why am I like this? Amanda <laughs> Amanda Bynes first got us cracking laughs when she starred in the Nickelodeon series All That, a Saturday Night Live style kids show featuring various kid actors and sketches that honestly held up pretty well over time. Eventually, she was cast to star in her own sketch show named after herself, featuring former All That co-stars and newbies like Josh Peck, Drake Bell, and Taryn Killam, who along with all-star cast member Kenan Thompson, eventually did go on to star on SNL. It's pretty cool. Amanda moved from Nickelodeon to the silver screen with massive success. Starring in comedy hits like She's the Man, Easy A, and Hairspray, her career seemed to be skyrocketing, which is why it was really strange when in 2013 she announced on Twitter she'd be taking a break from acting to focus on herself, claiming that being a celebrity just wasn't all it's cracked up to be. But around the same time, she had been arrested for a DUI and was dealing with some serious legal drama. It seems like, much like many on this list, Amanda blew off some steam by tweeting about all the people that she hated. She called out everyone from Canadian Canadian treasure and rapper Drake to the president at that time, Barack Obama, and his wife Michelle. She called people ugly, talentless, and just posted rant after rant with seemingly no reason. It was later revealed that Amanda was suffering from mental health issues at the time, but despite that revelation, her tweets, along with her overall bad girl persona that seemed to be rising, was enough to have her stamped as a do not hire. Number 5. JK Rowling <sighs> Man, as a Harry Potter geek, this one actually stinks. JK Rowling is known for being being the author of the much-loved Harry Potter book series that was eventually adapted into seven glorious magical movies and Order of the Phoenix. In June 2020, Rowling retweeted an op-ed piece that discussed people who menstruate, apparently taking issue with the fact that the article didn't use the word women. She tweeted, people who menstruate, I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. A woman, wimpened, 
Woomud. While this tweet garnered massive amounts of backlash from fans, Rowling actually doubled down on her views in much more detail. She tweeted, if gender isn't real, there is no same gender attraction. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of gender removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. She went on to say that she respected trans people's right to live any way that feels authentic to them. But at the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. Okay, JK, calm down. She claimed it wasn't wrong to speak the truth and be proud, but like, like, dude, n no, no, it's not. <laughs> Everyone in the world called JK out for her comments and views, with the live action Harry Potter stars even taking to Twitter to call out her behavior and stand with the trans community. JK's publishers dropped her from the roster, and the future of her writing career has gone up in smoke straight from the Death Eater's butt. Number four, Roseanne Barr. In the late 80s, Roseanne starred in a sitcom titled after herself. She starred alongside Hollywood heavyweight John Goodman in a series that followed the couple's everyday life as a world working class family. The show aired for 230 episodes, eventually being cancelled in the mid 90s. The show was eventually revived however in 2018 as the same wholesome content just for a new generation. Unfortunately for Roseanne, sitcom producers have Twitter. Her show was quickly re-cancelled, only a few hours following Barr posting a tweet about Valerie Jarrett, telling the world that she was the product of Planet of the Apes and a certain brotherhood having a baby. She later apologized for the tweets, but the damage was done. ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungy said in a statement that Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with their values. Again, with the values. Barr actually defended her tweets, saying they were not racist, but in fact, a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those can be the same thing, Rosie. Number three, Vanessa Hudgens. In March of 2020, the world was shut down, and many people found the online world to be their only solace. But for former high school musical star Vanessa Hudgens, however, it was the perfect time to express her opinions on the the current situation. She tweeted, even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are going to pass away, which is terrible, but inevitable? She was responding to then-President Donald Trump's posts claiming that the country would remain closed until July of that year. Well, her comments received massive backlash, and her account was temporarily deleted. Yeah, and, you know, we haven't seen her in anything recently, so that's probably evidence enough there. Yeah, too bad she can't sing her way out of this life problem. Number two, CeeLo Green. He saw you driving around town with the girl he loved, and he's like, forget you. <laughs> Still catchy. CeeLo Green was a successful music producer and artist, best known for the songs Crazy, F.U., and even Kung Fu Fightin'. It turns out that he has a bit of a dark side, however, as in 2012, he stood trial for possession of a controlled substance and giving said substance to a woman without her knowledge. While the prosecutors never pressed charges, CeeLo took to Twitter to say, hey man, if someone is passed out, they're not even with you consciously, so with would imply consent. Yeah. No, it doesn't! Hey, just, just, hey, no, no, it doesn't. He then tweeted something I literally can't quote or this video will be demonetized. Shortly after posting this, he deleted the tweets, but the internet had already copy and pasted and repost his comments to the point of his account being removed entirely. To CeeLo, we say a nice big F you. Number one, Kanye West. Shocker, it's the king of controversy himself, Kanye West. I know he goes by ye now, but I don't care. Kanye may have been a famous rapper, but we can agree that he is now best known for being Kim Kardashian's crazy ex-husband. In 2019, Kanye released a series of tweets, just, just also full of demonetizable content. He said horrible things about several races and religions to the point where his account was completely shut down and he was banned by Twitter itself. His account went dark and the dominoes of bad luck began falling down one by one on Kanye's face. His shoe brand was discontinued. His wife cheated on and divorced him and his best friend in the whole wide world got kicked out of the office and replaced by Joe Biden. I'd feel bad for the guy, but again, I just, I do not care about him. I just don't. But coming in at number 10, it's Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson is an actor who has been around for a long time. He is an incredibly talented actor, being in huge franchises like the Dark Knight trilogy and Star Wars, not to mention the many awards he has received for his acting. Despite all that though, he really shocked the world when he publicly admitted in an interview that he once wanted to indiscriminately end the lives of specifically 
black people after a female friend of his was ruthlessly attacked by a black person. This was about 40 years ago. Speaking to The Independent about how he got into one of his characters for a film, he said, quote, I went up and down areas with a kosh, hoping I'd be approached by somebody. I'm ashamed to say that. And I did it for maybe a week, hoping some black something would come out of a pub and have a go at me about something, you know? So that I could, and I have to leave the rest up to your imagination of what he could do. But needless to say, many people were pretty furious. Had it been a lesser actor, this may have spelled out the end of his career. Yet, because Neeson admitted this action in a seemingly apologetic and remorseful way, he was actually hailed by some people as being courageous for admitting and seeking forgiveness. Some people but not everyone. Despite many people having no sympathy for Neeson's actions, the actor seems to have simply walked away from the entire incident unscathed. It seems a mixture of his status as one of the most bankable stars in Hollywood and the fact that he confessed himself, apologized later, and sought forgiveness on his own has saved him from being cancelled. Number 9. Ezra Miller Ezra Miller had been having a really good steady climb up the ladder of Hollywood, killing it in Perks of Being a Wallflower, getting a large role in the Fantastic Beast series, and setting to star in The Flash as the lead superhero. But then, Miller seemed to go off the deep end. While they have recently issued a public apology, saying that they are suffering from complex mental health issues, there have been a string of incidents that will likely ultimately mean that we may not see much of the actor going forward. Starting in 2020, when they were in an altercation with a woman outside a bar in Iceland, we then move on to 2022. Miller was arrested and charged after they got agitated by people singing karaoke at a bar in Hawaii, which led to the actor yelling obscenities, getting physical, and lunging at a woman. Then, in that same month, also in Hawaii, Miller got a restraining order filed against them by a couple after Miller burst into their bedroom, threatening the male victim, and then took some of their belongings, including social security cards, a wallet, passport, license, and bank cards. The next month, in April, the actor was charged and arrested after they got upset and threw a chair at someone. And then, we fast forward to June, when Miller is accused of having an upsetting relationship with a young woman named Dakota Iron. This was all followed that same month by another parent who sought legal action after Miller quote menaced their family and acted inappropriately. Then it went to another level when in August Ezra was accused of burglary. As you can probably tell the whole thing is a lot even by Hollywood standards but yet Ezra is still starring in one of the most anticipated superhero films of this year. Although he probably won't be starring in anything going forward. Number 8 Kanye West the thing about Kanye West is that, despite his many offenses, of which there have been many, we all know that this isn't the way the guy has always been. And according to those who know the rapper and fashion designer, he is clearly dealing with some pretty prominent issues regarding his mental health. For the things he's said and done, he is almost like shadow cancelled, where people don't really support the artist himself or his newest works, but tons of people still bump his tunes and just find his newest offenses entertaining more than anything else. People especially love and still listen to his older stuff and because of that, Kanye obviously can still go around doing what he does. If you have seen the artist in recent interviews or when he has spoken at fashion shows, or if you have listened to anything he said recently, I think it's safe to say that Kanye is sick, as in actually dealing with some serious issues. Of course, it doesn't excuse his actions for which he really should be cancelled for, but what I think he really needs is help. Serious professional help, which is probably true for Ezra Miller too, given the sheer amount of things he's done. Number 7. Ellen The star, talk show host, and comedian Ellen DeGeneres was once one of the most beloved celebrities around. Her quirky style, her outspoken political views, and her friendly demeanor often went down well with mostly everyone. Her show was built on her kindness, and the endless stream of A-list entertainers she always had on it also showed how well-liked she was in Hollywood. But a bit more recently, the tune has begun to change. According to the complaints, Ellen's management team was often demanding, domineering, and created a toxic work environment, and some were even accused of racism, bullying, and physical mistreatment. The complaints, though, later spilled over to Ellen herself. But what has also come to light is the way she's treated other celebs while literally being filmed on the show. For example, pressuring a pregnant Mariah Carey into revealing that she was pregnant when she wasn't ready to do so by pressuring her to drink champagne, or when she made Taylor Swift seemingly have a meltdown as she made fun of the amount of Hollywood men who Swift has had relationships with and then made her go through male celebrities
authority saying whether she has or has not had some kind of interaction with them. While such accusations would usually be enough for other celebrities to be cancelled immediately, Ellen addressed the problems, issued apologies to disgruntled staff, and was relatively unfazed. Sure, her show did eventually come to an end after an epic run, but that wasn't because she was cancelled, it's because she ended the show. Number 6. Jared Leto Ever since all the way back in 2005, Jared Leto has been facing serious allegations of extremely inappropriate and honestly kind of sick behavior against women of various ages. It's the very reason that DCU director James Gunn has reportedly refused to allow Leto back to reprise his role as the Joker in the franchise going forward. But despite the allegations which have been coming up for a long time now, he has never seemed to take any kind of hit. He has never faced charges, he has never been outed during the Me Too movement, he hasn't ever been cancelled, and in fact, a lot of people seem to really like this actor. Jared Leto continues to enjoy huge popularity among his fans and even those who are just casual moviegoers. Most other actors would never survive accusations like the ones he has received, but Leto seems to just keep on walking along as if nothing happened and no one bats an eye. Number 5. Gina Carano Now, I don't believe that having a political opinion that isn't the majority should have you cancelled. Canceled. That's on the side of ridiculous. It stands against free speech and it's pretty undemocratic. That being said, though, comparing the division between Republicans and Democrats to World War II Europe and the atrocities that happened there is just downright stupid and you are bound to receive backlash. Gina Carano, the former MMA fighter turned Mandalorian star, enraged some fans with a series of politically charged social media posts, including the one I just mentioned in February 2021. Removing the problematic words that would get this video demonetized, her Instagram post read, quote, Most people today don't realize that to get to the point where soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? Answer to that question is, uh, it's very different, Gina. But she didn't back down, and it only got worse when she said on Twitter that her preferred pronouns are beep bop boop which she defended by saying that she was, quote, exposing the bullying mentality of the mob that has taken over the voices of many genuine causes. And she decided to do that by openly mocking the LGBTQ plus community. Not too much later, the hashtag Fire Gina Carano began trending on Twitter and Disney severed ties with the actress. Her management company, United Talent Agency, also dropped her, but yet Carano turned to her pals on the right and worked on Terror on the Prairie, produced by The Daily Wire, a conservative media company. So she's not fully cancelled, but do you think she should be? That's the real question. Number 4. Nick Cannon Back in 2020, a podcast recording featuring actor, show host, and celebrity father of like 30 children, Nick Cannon, making several comments that many deemed incredibly insensitive, but specifically anti-Semitic. Cannon also discussed offensive conspiracy theories that focused on Jewish people specifically as well. Now, when news of these recordings spread and the anger of the people continued to grow, Cannon was still allowed to continue his work on The Masked Singer, but his longtime producing partner, Viacom CBS, ended their relationship with the actor who was hosting his incredibly popular Wild and Out under the production company. This meant the star could no longer host Wild and Out. Now, After the scandal broke, Cannon did publicly apologize and he even met with rabbis and gave money to a Jewish organization. And likely because of that, in 2021, Viacom CBS responded to his efforts by reinstating him as the host of Wild and Out. I personally think he just needs to stop producing so many damn children, but do you think his actions deserve greater repercussions. Number 3. Chris Brown I'm actually surprised by how popular the R&B star Chris Brown still is. As most people know, the singer faced extreme scrutiny after multiple reports confirmed that he had a brutal physical altercation with his former partner and fellow musician, Rihanna. Most of us have seen the pictures of Rihanna's face after the fact. He even pled guilty to the incident and was required to perform community service. Now sure, Brown expressed remorse for his actions towards Rihanna, but then he returned to releasing songs and albums with actual success. The worst part is that his success stories were also reported alongside articles that he had even more similar experiences with other women who also publicly outed him. Despite the controversy though, Brown won an award for male R&B artists at the AMAs in 2022, which was met with some boos, but he walked away fairly unscathed and continues to go on as if nothing ever happened. 
happened. Number two, Louis C.K. Still a success in his own bubble for a good chunk of time, Louis C.K. was among the biggest names in comedy, but that changed when a group of female comics revealed his actions performed in the bedroom without their consent. Now, Louis even admitted to his actions following the publication of an investigative story in the New York Times in 2017. A detailed statement on what he did and an apology to the women he did it to was released, and the scandal led to the scrapping of his movie, I Love You Daddy, a TV deal with FX, and a large number of pre booked performances. It cost the comic about $35 million in earnings, and his management and publicist dropped him. But yet, Louis C.K. has continued touring and playing venues including Madison Square Garden to fans who really just couldn't care less. Now, Louis distributes his own material, so he's continued to have comedy specials which can be bought directly from his website. And he even purchased a commercial spot during an episode of SNL. He also won the 2022 Best Comedy Album Grammy for Sincerely Louis C.K., but still he did take a hit and he isn't likely to be making a comeback to what he once had. Do you think that's good enough? Enough punishment, or should the repercussions for his actions be more severe as well? And finally, in at number one is Will Smith. Now listen, I think just like Ezra Miller and Kanye West, acting legend Will Smith is having a tough go in his personal life that is kind of bleeding out into the public. Will Smith has been one of my favorite actors for years, but none of that makes it okay to storm a stage and get physical with a performer, whether they make fun of your wife's alopecia or not. But that's exactly what he did at the 2022 Oscars to comedian Chris Rock, who compared Jada Pinkett Smith to G.I. Jane as a joke without knowing that she did suffer from the hair loss. Smith then sat back down and yelled the infamous keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth, as we all know. Now Judd Apatow, Jim Carrey, Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Zoe Kravitz, plus others, all publicly spoke out against the actor's actions. Though others came to his defense, including Tiffany Haddish, Denzel Washington, and Jamila Jamil. Now Sony is said to have put Bad Boys 4 on hold, and Netflix has backburnered Fast and Loose, and CAA, his agency, also reportedly discussed dropping Smith as a client, but ultimately they did not. But for this one, it's it seems that Smith felt almost instant regret as evident in his Oscar acceptance speech later on in the award show. He also ended up quitting the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, and the Academy then banned him from the ceremony for 10 years. It remains to be seen what will happen with his career going forward and the boatload of projects he is attached to. Do you think he should come back from this one, or do you think that he should kind of just stay off in the dark? Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kanye West. After causing quite a stir in Hollywood, Kanye then went on to disappear appear and everyone's been wondering where he could have taken off to. Billboard would then later publish an article that would state Kanye's former lawyers even spent months trying to track the star down, and it wasn't an easy process as Kanye had changed his phone number in the hopes of staying hidden. After being tracked down by his attorneys, they then went on to drop Kanye as a client. Just a few weeks after, Kanye would then be caught out in the public as he was spotted with a mystery woman. But the star has tried to remain out of the spotlight as much as he can. The public has since been led to assume that the real reason Kanye has gone into hiding is because of his financial woes. And he's also been running from a lawsuit that his ex-business managers have filed. Either way, it's probably best that he stays out of the spotlight at this time. Number 9. Army Hammer After Army Hammer fell from grace, the former actor would disappear from the spotlight after facing some serious allegations from his former ex-girlfriends, claiming that he had these cannibalism fetishes. And there was even some accusations that Army made unwanted gestures towards the woman. The first series of allegations were launched against the star in 2021, but until the release of the 2022 Discovery true crime docu-series House of Hammer that was released, the matters behind the accusations remain relatively quiet as the actor retreated from the spotlight following the allegations, Army then tried to keep a low profile, and after going to rehab, it was later said that the actor was residing in the Cayman Islands alongside his estranged wife, Elizabeth Chambers, and their two young children. Children. At the same time, it would also be rumored that the actor was working at a hotel on the island after he was cut off from his family's fortune. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming number 8, we have Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. From starring in many TV shows and movies to their fashion business, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen could be seen everywhere in the late 90s all the way to the early 2000s, but somewhere along the way, the twins just slowly started to disappear from the spotlight. And no one 
has heard a thing from the famous duo in years. Then out of nowhere in 2014 they would announce that they were retiring from acting and they eventually launched two fashion lines called The Row and Elizabeth and James, which they still even own today, even following the controversies that follow the line. As in 2015, several of The Row's former interns took the company to court asking for payment for work they did on Mary Kate and Ashley's fashion label. According to the lawsuit, The Row's interns were forced to work up to 50 hour weeks doing the same work as some of the full time employees of their fashion line. Yet the lawsuit lead plaintiff then claimed the interns were also treated very poorly by the Olsons company. Even with the lawsuit, there still isn't much buzz about the brand these days compared to when they first launched the companies. And that's probably because the clothes just aren't that nice and you pay $5,000 just to wear a sheet when you can go to Walmart and buy that sheet for $5. Number 7. Cameron Diaz Former Hollywood it girl Cameron Diaz was on the road to have a very successful career. But then out of nowhere, she slowly started to disappear from the entertainment industry. And it would slowly start to happen after fans started to claim that she was actually pretty rude to interact with. While Cameron has claimed that she left Hollywood on her own terms by telling In Style in 2019, I've given more than half of my life to the public. I feel like that's okay for me to take this time for myself. Her statement would come just after Hollywood pretty much closed their doors on her. While the star has since been enjoying her time away from the spotlight, in 2020 she did announce the birth of her daughter and she's been focusing her free time on being an amazing mother. Number 6. Amanda Bynes I honestly miss seeing Amanda Bynes on the big screen because as a child I really just couldn't wait to get home to watch the Amanda Bynes show or any of the movies she starred in like She's a Man, Sydney White, and Hairspray. Amanda was seriously one of the most talented child stars and one of Nickelodeon's best success stories, who managed to turn that into a thriving movie career, but then out of nowhere she started to struggle around 2012. After the star was charged with driving under the influence and then charged with two hit and runs, she would then spend three years under probation. Just when we thought the star was done spiraling out of control, her troubles with the law continued long afterwards and it eventually became clear that she was suffering from some type of underlying issues like Britney Spears endured when she ended up under a conservatorship. Today it seems like Amanda is happy and back on track as she's now studying to be a nail tech and shortly we should see her in the salon doing some amazing work. Number 5. Meg Ryan At one point Meg Ryan served up some of America's best and most memorable romantic comedies and then one day she just seemed to just disappear from the spotlight. It would all come after her marriage started to crumble and then the headlines started to smear her name as they claimed she cheated on her husband while she was on set of Proof of Life. After the star cheated on her husband to get with Russell Crowe she would find it really hard going forward to find work. Now the actor wouldn't exactly disappear but she has preferred to keep a low profile these days. And when she does work on set, most of her work is actually behind the camera as a producer and a director which is honestly disappointing as her face deserves to be seen in front of the screen. Number 4. Drake Bell Drake Bell used to be a major heartthrob in the 90s but after he was accused of endangerment charges towards a younger person after a female victim claimed that she met him online and that he made unwanted advances towards her. He would then plead guilty and every door in Hollywood would start to close the door on him. Eventually the star would take to Instagram to address his recklessness and irresponsible texts when he issued an apology to his fans but then he also went on to claim that he wasn't telling us the claims were false but that the state of Ohio actually proved that the claims were false. And if the claims were true he wouldn't be at home with his wife and son. But then later even Josh Peck would call out Drake Bell and he would speak about their longtime feud that started when Drake called out the star for not being invited to his wedding. But pretty much Drake then went on to say some hurtful things and Josh even asked the star to apologize to his wife. Today Drake has tried everything to stay away from the spotlight but it just seems his name every now and then keeps getting smeared across the headlines. Number 3. Felicity Huffman After the college admission scandal rocked the world largely because big name celebrities were embroiled in the scheme, one of the most notable people caught in the falsifying documents was Felicity Huffman. And since she has avoided making public appearances. Compared to other celebrities caught in the scandal, Felicity's legal woes seem to be far less severe because she took the responsibility for her actions in a guilty plea where she expressed genuine remorse. She then went on to serve 11 days of her 14 day jail sentence and paid a $30,000 fine and was required to work 250 hours of community service for paying $15,000 to save her daughter's SAT scores. After gaining sympathy from the public, 
public instead of rushing back to rebuild her Hollywood career. She has since been focused on helping others. Number two, Lori Lolligan. Following the college admission scheme, Lori would find her name being embroiled within the mess, and with it, she would be ousted by Hallmark's parent company, Crown Media, after she was charged with conspiracy to commit mail fraud in connection with the scheme. When Lori appeared in court and was released on a $1 million bail, it would then be revealed that she and her husband agreed to pay $500,000 to guarantee that two of their daughters got into the University of Southern California as members of the row team, even though neither of them were athletes. The scandal would then impact Lori's career as Crown Media would announce it was cutting ties with the Full House star. Now, Lori was able to reprise her role in a Hallmark Christmas spinoff just after, but other than that, no one's been throwing roles her way, and it's probably for a good reason as you can't cheat your way through life just because you have money. And coming in number one today, we have Thomas Gibson. In August of 2016, Thomas Gibson would be involved in an onset altercation with Virgil Williams, a writer and producer of the show Criminal Minds. While Thomas was directing an episode of the show, he apparently kicked Williams and was initially suspended for two episodes. Thomas would then release his own statement by saying, There were creative differences on set in a disagreement. I regret that occurred. We all want to work together as a team to make the best show possible. We always have and always will. Later that week, ABC Studios and CBS would then announce that Thomas had been ultimately fired, and it would then be stated that this wasn't his first altercation on the set, as he was even forced to attend anger management classes in the past. When the studio realized it wasn't helping, they ultimately made the decision so they could keep everyone on set safe because he just couldn't keep his hands to himself. Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Will Smith. The whole world has been talking about the infamous slap that happened at the 2023 Oscars to the point it's just old and everyone needs to stop talking about it. However, with a handful of celebrities such as Jim Carrey, Amy Schumer, Zoe Kravitz, and many more speaking out about Will's actions, it has caused Hollywood to turn their backs on this brilliant actor. And it would start the cancellation process of Will Smith. Sony would then announce that they would have to put Bad Boys 4 on hold, and Netflix would also backburn fast and loose. CAA then started to discuss if they should drop Will as a client. Smith then cancelled himself by quitting the Academy, and the Academy then went on to ban him from attending the ceremony for the next 10 years. And we still don't know what this means for the star within this period of time, and we're just going to have to wait and see. Number 9, James Franco. Back in 2014, James would be exposed for going on Instagram and asking a girl when he was outside a theater in New York if she was 18. She then told the actor she was actually 17. He then went on to ask her the name of the hotel she was staying at and if he should get a room in the same hotel as well. Later in an interview on ABC Live with Kelly and Michael, the actor would then explain the encounter by saying, I used bad judgment and I learned my lesson. Then in 2018, four female students from his studio for acting school in North Hollywood told Los Angeles Times that James had compromised his position as a teacher to make unwanted moves and exploit them. With two of those girls going on to sue James, the actor would then have to fork out $2.23 million after he settled the case. Seth Rogen, his longtime collaborator in Powell, also went on to drop James and he would later tell the Times at London that the scandal changed his relationship and that he had no plans to work with Franco in the future, which became the end of the pair's 20 year partnership. James then made an appearance on the Jess Cagle podcast in 2021, where he admitted that he slept with his acting prodigies and that it was wrong before claiming he had struggled with addiction and that being dismissed by Seth was actually a really hurtful experience for him to go through. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you now subscribe to the channel. Coming back to our list in the number 8 spot, we have Kanye West. It's hard to know where to start with Kanye West's long list of controversies, as not only has the star been accused of cyberbullying his ex-wife Kim Kardashian and her old partner Pete Davidson, but he's also made some anti-Semitic statements that has everyone wondering if the star is really doing this as a cry for help. Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate the situation has caused his career to plummet, and he lost out on huge business deals not only with Gap and Adidas, but also with Balenciaga. On top of that, he was even dropped by his agent. Now, it's unclear with how long the rapper will be cancelled for, but one thing is for sure is that even when we should be keeping him out of the spotlight, outlets just keep scheduling interviews and pushing him to his limits to the point his unhinged moments have become more unhinged, and every time it's like we see something we've never seen before. Number 7, Army Hammer. Army Hammer has been pinned by some disturbing allegations from his former flame, Effie Angel Nova, when she accused 
accused him of making unwanted advances and fantasizing about cannibalism. And then another ex would claim the army carved an A into her pelvis and that he even asked her to have a rib removed surgically so he could eat it. And if things couldn't get any worse, an app developer who dated army for five months in 2020 also made the same claims. And on top of that, she said the actor liked the idea of having skin in his teeth. Now, Army's lawyers have gone on to deny all the allegations by saying any interactions with any of his partners were completely consensual and that they were fully discussed, agreed upon, and it was a mutual participation. After the allegations were released, the divorced dad would go on to be dropped out of the film Shotgun Wedding, the Paramount Plus series The Offer, and the Broadway show The Minutes. In February 2022, a close friend to the actor would then tell The Post that his acting career should be coming back any day now, but that still hasn't happened and it probably won't. Number six, the baby. When the baby was caught making homophobic remarks at a music festival in Miami back in 2021, he would end his career after he made some comments that dissed the LGBTQ plus community. Then later he went to try to like clarify his views and he only dug his hole even deeper to crawl out of after he doubled down on his claims. So the baby then got ripped apart by the LGBTQ plus community and even celebrities like Madonna, Elton John and Dua Lipa called him out for his insensitive comments. The fashion brand Boo Who Man even bolted on a deal they had with him. He would then find himself being booted from the 2022 Lollapalooza tour and his concert in Atlanta was called off amid a flurry of cancellations for his concerts, including a radio station putting his music into a timeout. The baby then went on to embrace his plummeting stock and declared himself cancelled in a new version of his hit Whole Lot of Money where he cries and laughs off his current situation. Coming at number 5 we have Gina Carano. Gina Carano is a former MMA fighter turned Mandalorian star who angered some fans with a series of politically charged social media posts after the star made an anti-semitic statement and paired them with American politics in 2021. She also went on to use a slew of hate towards the Jewish community before adding, how is it any different from hating someone for their political views? The actress later came under fire again when she decided to make fun of transgender people on Twitter by saying she preferred the pronouns beep, bop, boop. In the wake of her anti-Semitic comments, the hashtag fired Gina Carano began to trend on Twitter which resulted in Disney to sever ties with her and her management company United Talent Agency dropped her as a client as well and where are you going to go without your agency? Nowhere. Number 4. Chrissy Teigen After ex swimsuit model, Chrissy Teigen was accused of bullying Courtney Stoden in the beginning of 2011 after Courtney was 16 and married 51 year old lost actor Doug Hutchinson. Courtney would claim that Chrissy wouldn't just tweet her things about her needing to take a dirt nap, but the model would also tell Courtney she wished she would just pass away in her DMs. Courtney would then spark fashion designer Michael Cotello and teen mom Brera Abraham to come out with their stories where they claim Tegan bullied them as well. Tegan then quit her role as a narrator on the hit show Never Have I Ever, and she was then replaced by Gigi Hadid. It was then reported that her cookware line disappeared from Macy's and that Bloomingdale's had dropped her from their deal. Chrissy also had a back out of a planned cleaning products line that she was working on with Kris Jenner. Chrissy then tried to apologize to everyone including Courtney, but the apology just wasn't genuine and it was more just an attempt she made to try to save her career. Number 3. Matt Damon When Matt Damon infuriated the LGBTQ plus advocates when he told the Sunday's Times of London in August of 2021 that one of his daughters had taken him to task months ago for using a homophobic slur in a joke. The 50 one year old actor then went on to defend the comments in a statement, later claiming that the Times interview led many to assume the worst and then he went on to say that he never called anyone that word in his personal life and it was just a conversation that he was having with his daughter and it was not a personal awakening before claiming he doesn't use any types of slurs towards anyone. While Matt went on to receive a huge amount of hate online, he hurt many fans in the process and because of this, the actor hasn't really gotten many gigs in acting and directing. As the scandal did break, Matt was promoting his film Still Water, which took in a disappointing 2 million at the box office, and The Last Duel also flopped as it earned just 30 million. Meaning Matt won't be offered any directing gigs anytime soon because he's costing production companies an insane amount of money because his films aren't living up to what it's bringing in. Number 2 we have Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle was slammed for making jokes about the LGBTQ community in October of 2021. Netflix special The Closer. 
GLAAD then released a statement saying Dave Chappelle's brand has become synonymous with ridiculing trans people and other marginalized communities. Dave would then be booed and protested by some students when visiting his high school in Washington DC and in February it would be announced that Dave would be producing 4 more comedy specials. And then he went on to shrug off all his backlash by saying is this what being cancelled is like? I love it. He has since continued to perform and was nominated for a 2022 Grammy but more and more people continue to refuse to work with the star and I don't blame them. And coming in number 1 today we have JK Rowling. Harry Potter author caused a storm with her social media post about the transgender community. Starting in 2019 when she supported a British woman who was fired from her job after making transphobic tweets. 6 months later JK then piled on with her own snarky tweet about menstruation. She then went on to pen an essay on her personal website explaining her position but not putting out any fires in addition to ongoing backlash. Fans and Harry Potter stars Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint have all taken the author to task. To the point JK even skipped the HBO reunion special for the 20th anniversary. Even with her cancellation, it seems like the author is just becoming richer as she continues to make deals and produce more movies than the franchise she created. First up, Sierra. Sierra and Rihanna got into a super shady feud after Sierra shared a bad experience that she had with Rihanna in 2011. While on E's Fashion Police, Sierra decided to take the opportunity to throw some shade. She said, quote, I ran into Rihanna recently at a party and she wasn't the nicest. And it's crazy because I've always loved and respected what she's done with fashion and I've ran into her, you know, before, but this time it was really, it wasn't the most pleasant run in. Many were shocked to hear this because Rihanna is known to be down to earth and humble. Rihanna did not take kindly to the call out and clap back on Twitter, writing quote, My bad C, did I forget to tip you? Hashtag how rude of me. The two exchanged some more shade. Sierra warned Rhi that she did not want to see her on or off the stage and Rihanna wished her luck with booking that stage. In the end, Rihanna felt that she was in the wrong and ended the feud by apologizing. She wrote on Twitter, quote, Sierra baby, I love you girl. You hurt my feelings really bad on TV. I'm heartbroken. That's why I retaliated this way. So sorry. Hashtag let's make up. Sierra also responded by praising Rihanna and being thankful that they could put the feud behind them. Next up, Karuchi Tran. Karuchi Tran was the person that Chris Brown started dating after his relationship with Rihanna ended. Rihanna and Chris were the Hollywood it couple for some time until Chris Brown physically Rihanna and they split. But after their split, it seemed that Rihanna did not have an easy time getting over Chris and posted a super shady dig towards Tran as a way to take out her anger. In 2012, she shared a photo of a bag of rice cakes with sunglasses and hoop earrings. Rihanna wrote in the caption, quote, I'ma make you my bitch, which is a reference to her and Brown's song, Birthday Cake. This was said to be a dig at Tran, specifically the fact that Rihanna used rice cakes was thought to be a dig at Tran's Vietnamese heritage. In a now deleted Facebook post, Tran said, quote, I'm Angelina, you're Jen. Come on, you see where Brad is at. When speaking about the relationship years later, Tran said, quote, In this case, my boyfriend is a celebrity whose ex girlfriend is an even bigger celebrity. So not only am I fighting a battle with her, I'm fighting a battle with her 14 million fans or whomever else. Charlie Sheen. This is one I'm sure you did not expect. But in 2014, Rihanna got into a public feud with Charlie Sheen of all people. Apparently, they had a bad interaction and she decided to rant about it on social media. In 2014, Charlie Sheen ran into Rihanna at a restaurant and wanted to introduce the singer to his then fiance. However, Rihanna turned him down and Sheen went on Twitter later to rant about the situation, writing, quote, I sent a request over to her table to introduce my fiance Scotty to her, as she is a huge fan. Personally, I couldn't pick her out of a lineup at gunpoint. Well, the word we received back was that there were too many pops outside and it just wasn't possible at that time. Sheen continued that there's no way they could possibly reschedule another random encounter like that and that the whole thing was rude and unnecessary. Rihanna clapped back a few days later in a tweet, writing, quote, if that old queen don't get her diapers out of a bunch. Sheen ended up apologizing to Rihanna a few years later on Twitter, but Rihanna did not publicly respond. TLC's Chili and t -Boz. Two members of the musical group TLC found themselves in a heated feud with Rihanna in 2014 when they called her out for the way that she dresses. While speaking to Australia Sunrise, they said, quote, Every time I see you, you don't have to be naked. And it's hard for us to say anything because every time we say something, oh, TLC, oh, they must be jealous. We became the biggest selling girl group of all time with our clothes on. That says a lot, it's easy to sell sex. Rihanna didn't clap back by writing a shady tweet like she usually would. Instead, she decided to change up her header on Twitter to show a scantily clad picture of TLC. 
Even though no words were said, it was clear that she was calling out the group for being hypocritical. The photo showcase was from the group's 94 Vibe photo shoot. After the feud got tons of press in the media, presumably more than they expected, the group said their comment was not directed at Rihanna and that it was just edited out of context. Next up, Amanda Bynes. Another strange feud Rihanna was involved in was with actress Amanda Bynes. And even though some say Rihanna was out of line during this feud, it was definitely started by Bynes. In 2013, Bynes was not doing well and was often under the influence. After Bynes went on a racially charged Twitter rant about Chris Brown and Rihanna's relationship, Rihanna did not want to hold her tongue anymore and decided to clap back. Rihanna tweeted, quote, you see what happens when they cancel intervention. Some felt it was wrong of Rihanna to make fun of her mental health struggles and that Amanda Bynes needed empathy and understanding during this time. What do you guys think below? The Navy. If you didn't already know, Rihanna's fans are known as The Navy. And sadly, Rihanna's witty comebacks are not only at other celebrities, they have been occasionally directed at her own fans. After years without an album, Rihanna said that she would be coming back with a new album in 2019. But as 2019 passed and no announcement of an album took place, Rihanna's fans got angry. Out of love, of course, because they just want to hear her new music. But Rihanna does not like being called out, even by her fans. In July of 2019, she shared a video clip from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Reality star Carly Rae shares the results of a lie detector test and says, quote, Guys, it was all a lie. In the caption of this post, Rihanna made it clear that it was for her fans, the Navy. According to People, when one fan responded with, I can't believe I stand a liar, Rihanna clapped back with three laughing emojis, clearly not caring. Tiana Taylor Tiana Taylor and Rihanna got into a seriously nasty feud in 2013. It started when Tiana posted a video of herself on Instagram singing Caught Up in the Rapture. Then a month later, Rihanna posted an Instagram video of her hairstylist singing the same song while dressed like Taylor. Kind of strange, right? Taylor immediately clapped back and wrote in a tweet, quote, don't play with me, Rihanna. F all this industry crap. You and I know each other very well. Throwing subs for what? You got my number, don't show off. Taylor then denounced all of Rihanna's fans that started to attack her online. Rihanna responded by tweeting, quote, you will not get an at from me, not till you pay me. No more free promo, hashtag I refuse. Rihanna also changed her Twitter background, showing her net worth at the time, which was 90 million, compared to Taylor's, which was 500,000. Tiana Taylor responded by photoshopping her face on a boxer punching Rihanna. And in the end, she was the loser of this battle because Adidas dropped her from their campaigns after she threatened Rihanna with violence. And finally, Rihanna herself. Over the years she's been in the spotlight, Rihanna has done some really shady stuff that might make her fans think differently of her. One thing that Rihanna has been accused of is being a major diva. Specifically, when she's said to perform, her green room requests are insane. According to a 2016 Business Insider report, the requests include covering the walls with dark blue or black drapes, trimmed in icy blue chiffon, and a large plush animal print rug. The backstage area must be a relaxed atmosphere, and she's very particular about what scents are used. Business Insider reported that the Barbados Beauty needed exactly six Black Forest candles when she performs. She also demands flowers, usually white tulips. Keep in mind this is all for just one single appearance. That's not all. Apparently she's also really bad with spending, and even sued her accountants because she blamed them for going broke. While she was on her Last Girl on Earth tour in 2010, she apparently made tons of lavish demands that made her tour lose money. According to Page Six, she filed a lawsuit in 2012 claiming it was her accounting firm's negligence that prompted a costly IRS audit of her returns and that she lost millions during the tour because the firm failed to reconcile costs versus revenues while still paying itself millions in fees. Specifically, the firm let her buy a nearly $7 million LA mansion, even though she was losing money like crazy. After she bought this property, she learned it needed tons of renovations and was forced to sell it at a loss. One of the accountants said a completely different story and said that Rihanna was out of control with her spending. They said, quote, the tour was what she wanted, just as the exorbitant amount of expensive clothing and other purchases she squandered her money on were. Was it really necessary to tell her that if you spend money for those things, you will end up with things and not money? In the end, the judge agreed with Rihanna and her and the legal firm reached a settlement of $10 million over the debacle. When you think of unproblematic celebrities, who do you think of? Me, I think of people like Zendaya, Lin-Manuel Miranda, and Rihanna. But now I might have to rethink that last one because of recent events. Rihanna is known for being a pretty unproblematic and inclusive queen, but after the event of her Savage X Fenty lingerie show, she might have to lose that crown. Rihanna is now being canceled by many of her fans, and I'm gonna break this story down for you guys today. What's going on guys? I'm your host Brie Room and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Today we're talking about Rihanna's latest cancellation, but before we dive 
into this story, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also tap that bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss out on a new upload. We're bringing you the current celebrity trending news, so you'll want to have your notifications turned on so you're always up to date with what's going on in Hollywood. Rihanna's Savage X Fenty virtual runway show took place on Friday, and though it was a success and Rihanna hit the mark in regards to body inclusivity, the mark was definitely missed in regards to a specific demographic. Those who are part of the Muslim community who tuned in to watch the show were left feeling disrespected and exploited as a result of a specific song that they used as part of the show. The show featured a song called Doom, a musical track by producer Cuckoo Chloe. This song featured a sample of a hadith, which is a sacred religious Islamic text. Following the runway show and throughout the weekend, Rihanna and Chloe were faced with backlash both for its production using the religious text as well as its use in the show. As a response to the song, there were many people of the Muslim community saying things like my religion is not your aesthetic and calling for the boycott and cancellation of the singer. The song's producer was the first to address the criticism by tweeting out an apology saying that they were sorry for the samples of the religious text in the music as well as announcing that the song would be removed from all streaming platforms. Rihanna addressed the controversy on Tuesday by sharing posts to both her personal and the Savage X Fenty Instagram accounts. Rihanna said quote, I'd like to thank the Muslim community for pointing out a huge oversight that was unintentionally offensive in our Savage X Fenty show. I would more importantly like to apologize for this honest yet careless mistake. We understand that we have hurt many of our Muslim brothers and sisters and I'm incredibly disheartened by this. I do not play with any kind of disrespect towards God or any religion and therefore the use of this song in our project was completely irresponsible. Moving forward we will make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. End quote. Members of the Muslim community did not appreciate the sacred text being played as models walked around and danced in lingerie. This was sort of reminiscent to when TikToker Nessa Barrett did a TikTok dance to an audio recording of the Quran. Fans pointed out that this incident wasn't the only time that Rihanna has been called out for disrespecting the Muslim community. In her first Savage X Fenty show, the models wore scarves around their heads, which many people said looked like hijabs. People are saying that even though Rihanna is praised for her inclusivity, she's missed the mark twice in regards to the Muslim community and that she should to educate herself and research things before she makes another mistake like this again. So starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kanye West. So back in 2022, the world saw Kanye West lose everything in the matter of seconds after he made some appalling anti-Semitic tirades that cost him his entire massive fortune. Almost everyone from his lawyers to agents and mouth-watering endorsement partners have dropped Kanye. And with his universal cancellation, it has caused the rapper's net worth to dip from two billion dollars to 400 and million. It all began at a Paris fashion show when the rapper thought it would be a good idea to wear a WLM t-shirt, which snowballed into anti-Semitism claims on mainstream and social media. The final straw was when Kanye completely lost it and started to throw some hateful statements at the Jewish community. The striking anti-Semitic comments forced even some of Kanye's biggest fans to back off and back the cancellation campaign of the rapper. But seriously, at the end of the day, Kanye really needed someone to take his phone away and keep him away from the spotlight, and that's where his team failed him. Number 9. Wendy Williams It's clear that there's a lot going on with Wendy Williams right now, as the media personality is reportedly feeling broken. While it has been reported that the star is struggling with addiction that led to her being hospitalized, in the weeks leading up to her health scares, an inside source would then reveal to The Sun that the star was pretty much drinking every day while she was even filming her show. While the star seems like she was doing okay for a bit, The Sun would then soon publish another report that would reveal that Wendy was still not over the betrayal of her ex-husband Kevin Hunter, and these feelings have contributed to her downward spiral. When Wendy found out her ex-husband was having a baby with his mistress, she immediately filed for a divorce despite the two being married for 20 years. This is when Wendy also started to open up about her addiction, which stemmed from the betrayal to her viewers on the show. At this time, she would also confess to living in a sober house. But even after all of her hard work to get back on track, seems like she might be back at square one as she has been caught looking pretty disheveled in the streets lately. And it looks 
looks pretty concerning as it's clear that the star isn't exactly in the right headspace. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you know, subscribe to the channel. It would really help us out. Now hopping back to our list at the number eight spot, we have Miley Cyrus. So with Miley Cyrus starting off her career at the age 11 as a child artist with the hit Disney Channel series, Hannah Montana, she was the envy of many children who wanted to work in Hollywood. While the show was catered to younger audiences, of course, it's Disney, Miley suddenly shifted in the public eye and this became a huge problem for Walt Disney Studios. When her song Can't Be Tamed was released in 2010, her image was drastically overhauled with her spicy music video. And because of this video, it was a little risky. It did raised some problems for Disney as it featured their Hannah Montana star twisting around male and female dancers. While many would claim Miley was losing her mind as she was trying to escape the grasp of Disney to be free, it wouldn't be until Miley decided to pose topless with her back exposed for a Vanity Fair photo shoot that would have Disney scrambling to their feet when they realized Miley's squeaky clean image was threatened overnight. Just a day after the photo shoot, Disney then decided to cancel all connections they had with Miley meaning her show and any music that played on the Disney radio channel. While the star continued to go on to ruin the good girl image Disney forced her to be, we all saw everything from tongues, risky outfits, twerking, and everything in between. But honestly, while Disney may have halted the new stages of Miley, she really came out here to prove to young women all over the world that we don't have to live up to society's pressures. And that was honestly pretty inspiring to see. Number seven, Britney Spears. Britney Spears has had a rough life while the world just thought the star was losing her mind for no reason. When we all learned about her conservatorship, it all made us realize that every time the star acted out, she was really doing this because she was begging the world to notice that something was up and that she wasn't doing okay. While Britney's family forced the star to work endlessly so they could live off of her giant fortune. They enjoyed everything from spa days to champagne and Britney would find herself being barred from these sorts of activities. It was so bad that the star couldn't even enjoy a cup of coffee. Now, eventually, Britney would tell the world what was truly going on with her and why her mental health was deteriorating so fast. And a lot of her actions then started to make a lot of sense. So back in the day when the world was making fun of the star and claimed that she was simply just off her rocker because she shaved her head or played dress up with her food at a restaurant table, while these gestures did seem a bit odd, it was Britney's way of showing us that her family was controlling her day-to-day -day life and she really needed us to help save her. Number six, Will Smith. Just before the infamous Oscar slap, it said that Will Smith was having a terrifying vision that showed him losing all of his money. And while the star was also being humiliated by his wife again and again, he really didn't have anywhere to turn to. So it just kept getting bottled up inside. So eventually that pain and anger was so bottled up inside him that it was only a matter of minutes before the star would actually lose it. And unfortunately that moment came just before he won an Oscar. While Chris Rock probably shouldn't have made such a hurtful joke to begin with, Will should have known better than to react with violence. With the slap sending Will into this professional life spiral, no one would have thought what was going to happen next. With Will being cancelled, the Academy would then go on to ban him for the next 10 years from the award shows, and he also made the decision to quit the Academy altogether. And if it couldn't get any worse, Jada then started to make headlines saying that she never wanted to be with Will and that it was her mother forced her to do it. At the end of the day, Will's mental health was just deteriorating so fast that even he had to check himself into a hospital, focus on repairing his mental health. Now, it's clear that the actor won't stay canceled forever, but I do wish his recovery well, and I do hope things turn around fast for him because he definitely didn't deserve any of this. Number five, Army Hammer. So just when Army Hammer was at the top of his career, no one would have thought his world would all come crumbling down after it was revealed that he was sending some pretty concerning messages to women. Since ARMY has been the subject of intense scrutiny over the messages that claimed he had an outrageous fetish began spreading in January of 2021. It was clear that the star just wasn't in the right mind, we would all hope, because just days after the controversy had begun to unfold online, well in the beginning, everyone thought the claims 
couldn't be true. But then when ARMY stepped down from a role in Shotgun Wedding, we all started to realize that there actually could be some truth to the story. While the actor and his team continually denied the allegations that were being brought against him, it really makes you wonder what could be going through someone's mind that would make them tell potential partners that they wanted to eat them. Number four, The Baby. The Baby is a Grammy nominated artist who found himself being canceled after he made some outrageous remarks at Miami's Rolling Loud Festival back in 2021. While the star was on stage for his performance, out of nowhere, he began to call out members who are a part of the LGBTQ community. And here, he would continue to use crude language when he addressed them. All while he was spreading misinformation about medical issues. With artists such as Madonna, Anna, Questlove, and Elton John denouncing the baby's marks after his concert, the whole world started to shut the door on the rapper as his performances started to be canceled all over the world. While the baby was trying to retract his comments just days later with an apology, he just caused so much pain and hurt to the point he won't be able to bounce back from this one anytime soon. Number three, Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller was on their way to become a well-known Hollywood name. And while in the beginning we all praised them for being an activist who stood up for victims of gender-based violence in indigenous communities, by 2020, Ezra started to usher in a new kind of Ezra. And this Ezra showed us they were hiding their true colors from us for years. After Ezra was caught on a video getting into an altercation with a fan at an Iceland bar, it would soon be rumored that they were also leading a cult and making unwanted advances on younger people. While the star did come out to say they were sorry for their past behavior and anyone they may have upset with it, they continued to spiral out of control to the point it was clear the apology was fake and that there was something really concerning going on. While Ezra would later come out to say that their mental health was behind their bad behavior, I don't think any of us believe that. It's just really weird that DC Studios still is supporting The Flash and Ezra with it. As if it was any other film star, their career would have faded away from Hollywood so fast that it makes you wonder if they have something going on that's allowing them to stay in the spotlight when it's clear that being in the spotlight is actually causing them more harm because it's causing them to spiral more out of control. Number two, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan has had a pretty troubling past from substance abuse to mental breakdowns. This girl has single-handedly kept gossip sites alive as at one point, all we ever saw was her name smeared across the headlines for everything she was doing. While the actress has been sent to five rehab facilities for a total of 250 days since January 2007, she has also had to appear in court 20 times before or four judges who have found her in violation of her probation four times and they have even sentenced her to six months in jail while it is worth noting that she did spend less than two weeks behind bars in her six trips to the los angeles county jail Lindsay was confined to her home for at least 35 days each time they let her out early while the star started to spiral out of control due to her outrageous partying by 2014 the mean girl star would finally ruin her reputation in hollywood which would cause her career to come to a halt for a bit of time. While the star continued to party for years to come, lately it seems like she's back on track and she's doing well. She just signed a Netflix deal and we haven't seen her do anything out of the ordinary. And it's great to see her back on track and I can't wait to see what she does next. And coming in at number one today, we have James Corden. Back in October, James Corden would be put on blast by Keith McNally after James decided to cause chaos in his restaurant. On Instagram, Keith would even claim that James has been one of the most abusive customers he has ever had to face in his restaurant in the last 25 years. What started off as a date night soon turned into a disaster after James lost his mind over his wife's wrong order. After James complained about a number of issues that were wrong with the meal, instead of doing what a normal human being would do, he took things too far. And he began to scream at staff members, you can't do your job. 
James then lost his mind even more and started yelling at the server like a crazy person when he said, you can't do your job, you can't do your job. Maybe I should go back into the kitchen and cook the omelet myself. And the worst part is this isn't the first time James has acted pretty odd in public as he actually has a long list of bizarre things that he's done, which proves he's either completely bonkers or he just let fame get to his head or you know, it could be both. <laughs>